Nathaniel Kahn's outstanding documentary, The Price of Everything, looks at the way art and commerce have become inextricably interconnected. Kahn follows several players in the art world as the date for an important New York art auction draws closer. Their insights are illuminating and sometimes a bit shocking. One of the key figures in the film is 92-year-old Chicago collector Stefan Edlis, who is acutely aware of the value of each and every work of art that features in the skyscraper apartment he shares with his wife. Works by Damien Hirst, Jeff Koons and Andy Warhol are tastefully displayed, and then it comes as a shock to see that this Holocaust survivor has also acquired him, Maurizio Catalani's statue of a kneeling Hitler. Amy Capalazzo, who holds a senior position with Sotheby's, is another key figure we meet, but perhaps the most fascinating element of Kahn's film is when he compares the work of Coons with that of Larry Poons. One of the film's most revealing scenes was actually filmed in 1973. This was when Robert Scull, who operated a fleet of New York taxis and who was a serious art collector, decided to auction his art works. According to the film, this auction was the beginning of the commodification of art. Since then, art has become big business. An artist friend of mine points out that the actual value of a painting, the cost of the canvas, the paint, etc., is negligible. But the transformation into something of meaning or of worth is something different and intangible. The price of everything, and you might add the value of nothing, explores all this and more and it succeeds in being, at the same time, educational, entertaining, and profoundly disturbing. I'm giving the price of everything four stars.